Hello everyone and welcome back to the workshop for another unboxing video. As you can see in front of me, here is a blank black box. What could it be? Well, it's a custom piece made by Jazz Inc. And it is none other than the Iron Scavenger himself. Now, before we move forward, this is a custom piece. This is not a promotional video. This, per this was purchased for my own personal collection. So know that moving forward, that this is a custom piece. And again, bought for my own personal collection. So let's say we open this box up and see what it looks like. And here he is outside the box, all plastic removed. And first impressions, wow, they did a darn good job putting this figure together. Wonderful details overall, all, all around. Uh, the different types of uh, fabrics and clothing and plastics they use to make, make it look metal and, and washed and worn. And yeah, just an, just an awesome, awesome figure. And they did go back and lighten this up because in the original prototypes, it was a darker color. So they went back and they they did that the right color, which is awesome. And Jazz Inc., they, did, they knocked this one out of the park. It looks really freaking good, really close to what it looks like in the movie. But yeah, let's take a closer look. Here's the base, and yeah, it is... It is sturdy. It is definitely sturdy. Um, it's um, made of tough, durable plastic for sure. You've got to hold a heavy figure. Those wings aren't aren't light at all. So then you have the option of the dynamic flight posts, which will connect through here, through the bottom, with a bolt. We'll connect there. Or you can use this, where you could just hang the wings. Wouldn't recommend putting him on on this one to start flying around or whatever. But yeah, that'll go on and also bolt in, bolt into the bottom. And they did include instructions so make sure those are followed do not use electric screwdrivers drills or assembly high torque will strip screws and thread so yeah there's the warnings there and it goes in and it shows you everything's too bright it'll go in and show you how to assemble everything on the flight stand and that's for the back to put him on, to put the wings on his back. They look like fairly simple instructions, so we'll give it a shot. And then we'll, let's get a closer look at those wings because they're they're just awesome. And they do have some movement. It's still a little cold from being outside, so I don't want, I want to be careful. I don't want to break nothing. But yeah, it's, they did a really good job. But there's some articulation here and articulation in the turbines. And they do spin, which is awesome. Great attention to detail. The paintwork and paint application looks amazing. They did a fine job with all the metal work and the weathering to make it look metal. Yeah, and they just, yeah, fantastic job. That was one wing. The other wing is the same. You'll get some articulation there. They got the green here, which is cool. Nice, nice bit of coloring on there. On the back of the wing right here. All that great attention to detail. Yeah, he's badass. Certainly glad I picked him up for my own personal collection. Again, not a promotional video, of course, for an unlicensed product. But, come on. This is awesome. I do kind of wish 
that these could scissor. I mean, that would have been a nice feature, but of course, I'm glad we got what we got. That's so cool. Yeah, same articulation on this side. Same paint applications with the the dark metal and the green. And yeah, articulation is cool. You can go to either side. Out there. That's pretty neat. They did a great job. Great job. All right. Let's take a closer look at the figure himself. Now it's a wonderful job. Getting all the details in. It's a nice flight helmet that attaches to the back. That's awesome. Some weathering here. They did a good job. This guy does light up. You slip off the head or the, the visor and that's where the batteries will go. So his eyes do light up. I'm not sure if these batteries are good. So if they're anything like Hot Toys batteries, they'll die super fast. So I'll probably just leave the batteries out. And then again, the fur on the jacket fur lining. Awesome, awesome job. Another the leather jacket. There's not a whole lot of articulation here in the arms because of the, the flight suit itself. Um, I haven't tried again. That arm must be twisted the wrong way. You get a bend here. Yeah, he must, the arm must be twisted funny in there. Sometimes that happens. Oh, yeah, well, that one doesn't want to bend. I'll wait till it warms up a little bit before I even start. But yes, he does get or he does get the uh, bend of the elbow. His arms will move up. And again, not a huge range of motion, but because of that leather jacket, but pretty sweet nonetheless. Pretty awesome. And then all the belts and clasps for the suit. Wonderful stitch work. It looks awesome. There's even a pocket here. The straps to the suit. And because of this design, he does get some knee bend. And I don't want to stress it too far because he's still a little cold because he was outside. And if you don't, if you're not careful with cold plastic, it'll snap on you. But yeah, there's the knee bends. But yeah, wonderful work. There's weathering and stuff on here. And the claws, of course, again, with weathering, will come down. These are very pointy. I don't think you can actually hurt yourself with them, but unless you actually tried. So just be careful, I guess. These do have a nice point to them for accuracy. Yeah. But yeah, really good job. Really good job there. But all right. Well, oh, it's getting, oh, son of a bee. Those are not screwed in, by the way. Those are just pegged in. And shouldn't come out, but they do. But yeah, then they're just maybe maybe you just want to take them off or something. But yeah, they're there. Um, try not to move it around too much, obviously, because it will fall out if you're not careful. That one's kind of loose. I might have to do something about that. <clears throat> but yeah, those are just pegged in, so be careful. But yeah, a really cool figure overall. I'm super happy he's in the collection, and he'll look great next to my Spider-Man from Homecoming. Oh, and I just wanted to show you that uh, for the back compartment, it is in the instructions, but 
just to give a, a, vis a visual. Magnet piece comes off. This slides up or not. That should slide off. All right now I'm getting a little frustrated with this figure. Um, I had to reinsert this rod right here because it fell out. So assembly is kind of a pain. I mean, maybe maybe it's different for me than it is other people. But then you screw on like so. Time to attach the wing. The wing will go in like so. Through that spot right there. And right there. So I'm going to get this wing attached and put him in his pose. And then we'll get the score. And there he is on the flight stand. Pretty freaking awesome. Fully assembled. Um, I do have a few issues with, with the way his uh, assembly was. But other than that, he looks really awesome. Um, the screws and whatnot were a little difficult to thread. Um, other than that, yeah, he's really cool. Looks awesome on that flight stand. Um, I currently do not have a shelf that will hold him. <laughs> but but he's really awesome especially with there with the spider-man especially there yeah especially there with spider-man yeah really cool really cool if I have to give him a final grade I would definitely give him a 9.1. Yep. This Iron Scavenger is definitely a 9.1. Looks really good. There are a few issues with him. Um, my particular one is his right hand keeps falling out. Um, I can't bend the elbow yet. I don't think it has anything to do with the cold because he is warmed up now. Um, it might just be that his arm is twisted. But, and then I had a, uh, a bolt fall out of one of the one of the connector pieces back here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's right. Right there, that, that piece right there. You see that shiny metal? That fell out while I was trying to articulate um, but other than that, yeah, really awesome, really badass figure. I'm glad he's in my collection. What do you all think of this, this figure? Did you pick him up? Uh, I'm going to leave a link to Jazz Inc. Dioramas down below in the description part of the video. So you can go check them out. They're really awesome. They got a lot of cool stuff. But yeah, here he is, Iron Scavenger. AKA Vulture. Yeah, really badass. All right, thank you for watching. Be safe, be healthy, and always be kind, and I'll catch you on the next one.